app is super exciting. So this past November, we announced the first ever Lightning cross-chain swap. And what this means is we're able to transact between Bitcoin and Litecoin on Lightning instantly without a central intermediary or an exchange. So part of why I think this is so interesting and so important is, as we heard about earlier with Nick, the reliance on central intermediaries can be problematic in terms of if they get hacked. There are all sorts of security risks. Also, if the point of this ecosystem is to have decentralization, you don't want to have to rely on all these central intermediaries where they could, for example, you know, have all your data, it could be compromised. So the future for cross-chain swaps between currencies and the ability for Lightning to enable that, you can have decentralized exchanges. Um, merchants can instantly accept a variety of currencies and they don't have to actually deal with support for all of them. And there are all sorts of interesting applications that can come out of that. So that's something that we're going to see evolving and developing in the next year or so. So I just want to add one final point. It's important to remember that this is a marathon and not a sprint. Building core protocols on the infrastructure around it takes time. And Lightning is one of those core protocols. So a few weeks ago, I saw this tweet, and it reminded me how early we really are. It's 1969 for the Lightning Network. This is the equivalent of the ARPANET. And we may be doing something crazy, but I wouldn't underestimate what comes next. Thanks so much. Awesome. Uh, well, I'm really excited about the Lightning future. Thank you very much, Elizabeth. Great talking with you.